The secret of Apple's success is that it does continually make very good products that actually it's extremely good at, at marketing. Uh, I mean, this has been an absolutely staggeringly good result for Apple. I think even Apple is a little surprised at how well it's done. The iPhone 6 has, has performed really well. And actually, this is a company that over the last few years has continually defied the critics. If you look at where Apple was um, today versus where it was a few years ago following the death of Steve Jobs, who was, of course, its visionary co-founder, and with uh, increasing rivalry from Samsung, which uh, very quickly became the world's largest smartphone maker, uh, it definitely didn't look as if Apple was going to be able to uh, keep its position on top, but it has. I think Apple is still doing a, a, a very good job of, of producing products that people want to buy. Uh, whether or not it's still as innovative, that's up for debate because we haven't yet seen another new product category uh, from Apple in quite a long time. That's going to be the Apple Watch, which uh, uh, CEO Tim Cook uh, confirmed uh, the other day would be coming out in April. Uh, so we will get to see very, very soon whether it's, whether it's really still got it. Uh, it it's the wearable space uh, technology market it really hasn't taken off. Apple is not the first company to produce a smartwatch by any stretch, but uh, the question is whether it can be the company to actually make them popular. China's a, a huge market, of course, in terms of numbers of people available there who can buy its products. Uh, I think Tim Cook said yesterday that, that now around 65% uh, 60, uh, of, um, of, of its sales are, are coming from outside the US, so it's a big deal. Um, I don't think Apple has been as successful in China uh, perhaps as it wanted to be, perhaps as analysts were expecting, but it, it does seem to be making inroads. If I was recommending a, a phone or a tablet for an elderly relative who perhaps wasn't very familiar with this kind of technology, I'd probably recommend an Apple product. Um, they are famous for that sort of intuitive, easy to pick up interface, but that's something that's, that's actually very, very hard to create and it's very, very hard to build upon because Apple always wants to expand its software, add new features, so it's increasingly difficult to keep it so simple. So it's going to be interesting to see whether it can repeat that simplicity trick with the watch. I never want to say that we've reached peak Apple because every time I think we have, uh, there turns out to be a new peak Apple. Um, I think that at the moment the smartphone market is looking a lot like the PC market was uh, maybe about 10 years ago. Uh, so Apple is doing very, very well. It's selling truckloads of iPhones, but people are looking for what's next. So Apple needs to focus on making sure that the watch is a success, uh, that the Mac keeps selling well, and it needs to think hard about the iPad as well, because that is an area where uh, sales haven't quite uh, lived up perhaps to expectations.